Okay, man, talk about the DVD recorder. It was an RCR, or whatever it was called. Not the most popular brand, but I can tell you it turns on a lot faster than the one I have now. But the other one's wired up, so I decided this. If anything, all I would have to do to get the picture onto this other DVR box would be to use S video out and composite out right through the one I'm I was currently using before today and put it into the new one. So the picture will go through the front. Everything's all set. Why did I buy one? Well, another one, exactly. It was used, it turns on. Doesn't mean the recording feature will work though. It does play the DVDs and goes to the menu and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have a remote, so all I can do is push play. I bought this because it has an 80 gig hard drive built into it, so I can use it like a video camera system. I have a camera I bought too to go along with it that's a cheap camera just to point in front of my house so I can see what's happening. I can have that running basically every four or five days because that's how many, it said 120 hours for recording time. And this is low resolution footage so I should get even more time than that. I'm mainly going to use it as a DVR. Now I just got to figure out how I can leave the damn thing on without having to um, turn on um, switch off on everything. I'm going to try to figure that out and see what happens. Um, I just, it's its kind of a pain in the ass because I have everything on a switch where I just turn it off at night just to be on the safe side. But the DVR has to be running continuously and so does the camera because the camera I have has to be plugged in. So I, I'm just going to have to leave it all on from now on. I won't have much of a choice, but when everything's off, it doesn't use a lot of electricity. You've seen that room, that retro room I built. It's in a previous video. I gotta tell you that with all the effort I put into it, I gotta say, um, it looks pretty damn good. People are gonna say, well, isn't that a fire hazard or a use, use of a lot of electricity? It can, I guess it could be a fire hazard, maybe if you did turn everything on at once. And I'm not just talking the televisions. I've done that a bunch of times. I'm talking about the units. If you turn all the VCRs, if you turn the amplifier on, if you turn everything, I've turned on almost everything at once, but not quite everything. And I don't think I'm going to do that anymore just for that reason. You should never have that many things running at the same time. Um, I also, I don't know if this recorder does, uh, I don't know if it, it, I know it does DVD minus I, I don't know what it does beyond that. I can't mess around with it right now. All I'm going to say is is that I have some double laid discs, maybe this will record in double laid. If that's the case, um, yeah, who knows, if that's the case, I don't know what I'd do. But all that matters to me is the startup time. This one is like three to four times faster starting up than the other one. And I can't believe sometimes a DVD recorder can take more than 15 to 20 seconds to turn on. It's completely ridiculous. Um, well, it works. Um, I, I, that's what I was hoping for. I wanted it to work. The sound worked. I could hear it a little from my television. That's what counts to me. Um, I like, but like I said, I'm not going to actually know why. I think I'm going to use all my efforts to try to record through, um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to use this main machine and see how that works for a while if I get any better results. Of course, I'm going to be running this, <laughs> put it, putting it this way, I'm going to be running of it's going to be everything's hooked up to the VCR goes out to the first um to the first DVD recorder then goes out the first DVD recorder to the second DVD recorder that means I'm going to have to have three boxes on at the same time I don't know if there's any that, that would degrade anything I know the sound pretty much I put the sound through everything right now the sound goes out of the laser disc player into the VCR out of the VCR into the um DVD recorder and out of the DVD recorder into the amplifier which is that five disc changer I did a while back and it sounds fine it's only regular audio it's nothing spectacular it's not Dolby Digital or anything but it's uh, it's enough um, do you think I'm done with buying new things pretty much I have everything now I have video I have a VCR I have a DVD recorder the only thing I have to worry about is it's like a PlayStation 1 with the stand. It's, it, I mean, PlayStation 2. It's standing up. The, the recorder's not like this. It's like this. So um, I have to put the disc in very carefully when I put the disc in. 
I gotta make sure I don't snap the dish tray or anything. I like to deal with all the technologies. Let me take a minute to tell you why. It's because it's so easy. It's just plug in, plug, plug in, take the plug out. It's all over and done with. Nowadays, pretty much, it's not like that with HDMI. There's a lot of things that won't work with televisions, believe it or not. Um, things that aren't it, up to the HDMI standard. So all because you have an HDMI cord and you plug it into a TV doesn't mean it's going to work. Unfortunately, some people don't understand that. I'd rather just deal with the old stuff, to tell you the truth. I've never had any real problem with compatibility issues when it came to picture screen or whatever. My TV screen never really sat on me like the one down here. It's never done anything like to me like that. It's been all, it's been perfect. And um, that's all I have to say. Now um, I'm gonna try, maybe I'll try to port everything over to the um, the other, um, what's it called, the other, uh, ooh, what was I gonna say? Actually, no, you know what, I can't do that. I probably shouldn't do that because my main best picture goes out of a television that would not reach that box, so bad idea. I'm not making much sense, but if you get, you get the technical things of you setting up a system or different stuff. Um, yeah, that's about it. That was the only thing. Yeah, I really wanted to do that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm saying to myself, you know, if I get a, I, w I would only be able to wash it on that one TV. And um, that would kind of suck because that doesn't have the best picture. So, um, too bad I didn't have two S videos that went out. It's funny, they have the technology to do it. This, um, the current one I'm using before the one I bought today has three inputs for um, S video, but it only has one S video out. What if you wanted to put this on more than one television? I guess you could get a splitter or something, but they only have one S video out. So that's just the end of it. So I pretty much I'll set up everything and see what happens. All I know is is that no, because you know I want to, I got to use the other one mainly because I wanted to use it as a DVR to run the cameras outside. Something just to have fun with. I thought of um, just using DVD discs to do that. I decided not to because the most you can get out of a DVD pretty much is like six hours at its maximum speed. So that's not very fast. <laughs> I mean, that's not, not fast. That's not very efficient. So it would make more sense to try to do it off of the actual hard drive if possible. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.